we must think as a country, how can we be able to cushion our people? How do we strengthen um, institutions that deal with, uh, with uh, the mental health of our people so that uh, we don't have a lot of suicides and we don't have a lot of, uh, of uh, crime that are coming up? Because when people get desperate, they do anything. We must, as a country, calculate how we can open up the economy again and bear the plan. In my opinion, we shouldn't open school, especially because children are people you cannot control their behavior. You cannot keep them with masks. It is totally almost impossible to keep social distance in our schools, looking at the classes the way they are normally arranged. Even if you have boarding schools, we have part of the community in the school that is normally commuting, both teaching and teaching staff. How do we able to control what they do out there vis-a-vis -vis what they bring to school? So the issue of opening school, we, it must be very calculative and to the levels probably where we have adults who can be able to take care of themselves like universities and colleges. Uh, but probably the high school and the, the primary schools and the kindergarten, that can be able to wait. We should embrace more on virtual learning and uh, postpone what needs to be postponed for a few more months so that we not have a, a situation whereby we have a whole hopeless country with just sick people all over. We cannot uh, just continue blaming national government. Yes, we expect the national government to be able to channel the funding that from different donors. But how much is this funding as per se? Because when you are told that the country, country, the country has been given probably maybe 50 billion to cope with the, the pandemic, they have those national hospitals and the referral hospitals to take care of. They also have uh, uh, research cent centers and especially the issue of testing, which has become very expensive, uh, which we are saying the future of uh, curbing the spread of this uh, virus depends on how many tests we can do. If we are able to roll out more and more mass tests, then we are able to know. Even when we test nowadays and we say we are having 72 in a sample of uh, probably 2,000 people, what if you tested 50,000? Would you have been in 72? Uh, that is why we are feeling there are more people who are sick than we know, and we are hoping that very soon we can have the flattening of that curve so that we can go back to normal. But in terms of the, the effect that this is going to have in our economy, money that was meant for development in the counties is going to this. Money that was meant probably to uh, take care of our peop people's welfare uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, probably social nets that can be able to cushion them will go into this. So we are asking our people to to gear themselves up for a very hard time, but it will pass. And when it does, uh, their people will have gone and others will have remained. <laughs>